I'm going to show you some of the most useful things that you can do in Excel. And one of them is called, it used to be a plugin. I can't remember the exact name. It's, it's now called Get and Transform Data. So I have three Excel files open. I've got Brisbane Park Attributes. I've got my working table. And I've got Gold Coast Park Attributes. So if I go to my working table, you go on to Data. Right there, it's called Get Data. Now I want to get data from another workbook and I want to get it, you don't have to have it open, from the Brisbane Park Attributes. And what it does, it actually gets the data. I've got to click on the table itself and I go load. And it opens up a new tab in the same worksheet. It's finding all the attributes. And it's put them all there. Now what it can also do, but I'm not going to do it now, is I'm going to show you, you can do something called a pivot table in another one because pivot tables are incredibly awesome. What I also want to do is I'm going to go to parks, all parks. Let's just highlight the whole lot. There's a way of doing it. I always forget how to do it. So we'll just do it this way because I'm challenged. Highlighted it all. I'm back in data and I go from table from range. And there's the data. I don't really want it all right down to the very bottom. But well, I'll show you how to get rid of that afterwards. It comes up with this. It's called the Power Query Editor. What you need to do is you need to choose the columns. You click on that. That's okay. I want all of those columns. You don't necessarily need them all. Um, you also need to do uh, Remove Blank Rows. I'll show you how to do that. What you do is when it goes Reduce Rows, you click on it remove rows, remove blank rows and then all you do is close and load. Now what I want to show you, so I've loaded them all, you'll see they come up as funny colors. There's my sheet one, there's my sheet two. I'm now going to go into query and I'm going to merge them. I'll click on merge and there it's loaded table two. I'm going to lo load the Brisbane Park attributes. And it says what you want to match the columns on. So I'm going to match it on the SA2 name. I go highlight both of them and go OK. We'll come up with another one. First thing I do is double click this thing. And I, I can choose which columns. I don't want our object ID. Uh, I'm going to have two of those, so I'm just going to put them over there. I'm also going to get rid of some other things. I don't want the five-digit number, so let's choose the columns. And we don't want object ID. Do we want the name and park name? I don't really want text note. Um, I'm just going to go OK. And then what you do there is you go close and load. getting data. To be honest, this wasn't such a good example to do because there's too much data in them. <laughs> but the best thing about this is what? It can link files from different worksheets, from different things on um, unique numbers. So if I, I'm not going to save this, but you, it linked them on SA2 number. So if I then filtered and it's automatically filtered, as you can see, so let's just didn't download, it didn't load them all because um, there's just too much data. It loaded 8 million rows and then crashed. So if I looked at Algesta, for example, it's linked all the parks and all the park attributes. And then you can do charts on that. You can get rid of certain things. And it's just a fantastic way of doing stuff in, in um, Excel. It is incredibly useful. I once linked, I think it was 256 different tables from the ABS just on that it was incredibly useful so i really recommend you play around with with it used to be called oh, what is it it's called get data pretty much